Hi, this is Zach. I thought it'd be interesting to have a quick look at some DVR footage from 5.8 and 1.3 gig analog, as well as a bit of digital footage from the goggles. So first up is the Reptile Dragon, and that's running 800 milliwatt, 5.8 gig, a Wildfire VRX, and some double crosshairs. Next up is the Diet XL, running the Matek 800 milliwatt, 1.3 gig, and singularity antennas on both ends. And finally, the DJI air unit on the Mini Talon, and the Crystal HD set with patches and stubbies on my goggles. So I've made a note here that the Runcam Phoenix 2 is being used on both the Reptile Dragon and the Diet XL, uh, but look very different. So that's an interesting comparison. There's a fair bit of detail from the uh, 5.8 gig system. There's a lot of interference here at this lake as you can see. Uh, there's some sort of pulsing signal that's interrupting the analog signal. This is at 5 k's out across the lake and uh, gets quite fuzzy around there and then sort of comes back a little bit afterwards. I stayed pretty low through the middle of the lake and then started climbing on the other end as video got worse. Every time I cross this bank on analog, the signal gets quite weak. So uh, once I've passed the bank though, it seems to start to come back. The wildfire module unfortunately isn't as good as the rapid fire. I wish I'd kept the rapid fire instead of selling it off and trying something different. Here I'm a little bit behind the first row of the wind farm and uh, yeah, the signal's coming in and out a bit. From experience, I don't panic and I just continue on. But yeah, the wildfire is quite grainy. Uh, the reception itself isn't too bad when it's there, uh, but it's certainly not ideal. It's just something I think I've always lived with on analog. Heading back, things get cleaned up a little bit, and it's not too bad heading on home. Now I'm going to switch to the 1.3 gig, uh, so the Matek gear on both ends, and the True IC singularity, singularity antennas. reason I'm just running Omnis for this test is that um, I prefer to have no ground station and just run the goggles, just for portability and being able to throw things in a backpack, and uh, the Omni singularities uh, are about as much as I'm willing to put on the goggles. Signal's a little bit cleaner here approaching the lake and once again at 5Ks, fuzzes in and out a little bit but uh, it's definitely a lot cleaner than the 5.8 gig signal when uh, the signal's back. Approaching the bank on the other side, yep, signal's definitely a lot cleaner than it was on 5.8. Once again, as I cross the actual bank, the uh, signal seems to go out for some reason. When it comes back though, uh, it actually does start to clean up quite nicely, and I end up with uh, quite a nice signal compared to what I had on 5.8. Once again, turning in behind the windmills and approaching 10Ks, I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised once the graininess goes by how clear the signal seems to be. It's not as detailed as 5.8 can be when you're at a closer range. Uh, things are a little bit muddied, but the actual uh, reception quality is really good considering I'm just using two Omnis and uh, I'm comparing it against you know, patch and um, crosshair antennas. So I can see the appeal of 1.3 gig and why so many people will go to the extent of having a ground station with directional uh, high gain antennas. Uh, I can imagine you know, the freedom to go out at distance and uh, have great video would be pretty appealing. Approaching the windmills get a little bit of fuzz, but um, generally yeah, the signal on 1.3 gig is pretty good for Omni. And then just for a comparison, <laughs> it's not really apples to apples comparison, but the uh, digital DVR from the goggles, uh, as you can see, 
super clear, super vibrant. Uh, it's really not comparable at all to flying analog. Same bits of footage approaching the water's edge, uh, pretty good megabits, no problem at all. Out to 5Ks, dips a little bit as it did on analog, being 5.8 gig on digital as well, uh, but can't really notice it on the digital. I'm a lot lower and approaching a different part of the bank here, uh, but you know, the signal, while it's um, maintaining enough megabits uh, bitrate, there's so much detail in the ground textures uh, when I'm staying sort of above 10 megabits. I do realize at this point I need to climb, and you can see here the effect of even climbing up to the windmills around sort of 70 meters up. Uh, I've got a much better signal and uh, super clarity. But as I go further and further away with the windmills behind me, um, the signal starts to get interrupted again. Not so badly that I can't do some proximity, of course. But yeah, at this point, I know I need to climb up a little bit higher. So as I'm approaching this third row of windmills, uh, I haven't really climbed yet, but I, I'm going to gradually climb now. Uh, I'm also reaching the, ex, uh, the hardware limitations of the DJI system, uh, being based on the latency as well. Um, so here I've turned in behind this third row of windmills, uh, added about 11 Ks or so. And here I'm back to where I was flying on the analog system. And as you can see, uh, the signal does drop a little bit here and there, uh, but when it's there above sort of 10 megabits, it's really gorgeous. Very different sort of blockiness and different type of interference you get on the digital system. Uh, but generally, if you can maintain at least sort of eight or nine megabits consistently, it's uh, quite a usable signal. Interestingly here, as I'm turning, I get an actual burst of uh, bit rate. So it's interesting that um, I think it means my antenna orientations aren't particularly good. And when I'm facing home, one of my antennas is actually blocked by the GoPro, which is not ideal. Anyway, uh, that's about enough of the comparison. Uh, as you can see, um, each system has its merits. 5.8 is really nice and detailed when you've got a good signal, but uh, struggles a bit at distance. 1.3, even with Omnis, is pretty great. Uh, and I can imagine it'd be really nice with some directional antennas, a little bit less detail than on 5.8 and uh, clearly less, less detail than on digital. Uh, and then the digital system, I've completely switched over now and have no analog gear left. Uh, and I'm loving it. I'll hope that was interesting to some. Thanks for watching.